OK, so we have a quadratic to solve, and we ha it is 2x squared minus x minus 3 is less than 0. So the first thing we do is try and factorise it. So this one does factorise, a couple of brackets then, and inside goes 2x and x to give 2x squared, and then choose two numbers to give the minus 3 when multiplied and that will be minus 3 and a plus 1 and just check that that multiplies out to give you the above which it does okay so don't forget the inequality on the end less than 0 okay now as I've pointed out in an earlier tutorial don't make the classic mistake of saying 2x minus 3 is less than 0 or x plus 1 is less than 0. That will lead to the wrong answers. What we've got to do is look at the critical values. So I'm just going to write here for the critical values. Remember, this is where we treat this as if it equals 0. OK, so for the critical values, if it did equal 0, then it would be that 2x minus 3 would equal 0, or x plus 1 would equal 0. And if we solve these two equations, we find that if we add 3 to both sides and then divide by 2, you end up with x equals 3 over 2, or 1 and a half, or in this case, subtracting 1 from both sides gives us x is negative 1. Now these are the critical values, and what does that represent? Well, what we do is we sketch a graph, okay, so we'll just do it over here, and label the axes, x and y, and the graph we're going to sketch is the graph of this function here, 2x squared minus x minus 3. So that's 2x squared minus x minus 3. And in sketching this function, we factorised it, and we found the critical values were 3 over 2 and minus 1. And these values are the values that we get when y is naught. And remember, that's where the graph would cross the x-axis. So we'll put down that it crosses at negative 1, and at one and a half or three over two. Okay. Next we sketch in what this quadratic function would look like and because it's a positive x squared term it will be a u-shaped parabola. So it will come down through the minus one, okay, through the y-axis and then back up through the three over two. Something like that. Okay. Now, in this question, all that we're looking for, okay, we've drawn this graph, which is equivalent to this function here, and we're looking for where y is less than 0. And y is less than 0 when it's below the x-axis. So that is for this part of the curve. I'll just try and overwrite what I sketched earlier, that part there. All these values here are negative y values, that is that this quantity here would be less than zero. And the values of x that make the y values less than zero are between minus one and one and a half, three over two. So I want everything in this region here, all the x values. So I can write that like this. I can say that from the graph okay from the graph that x lies between minus 1 and 3 over 2 when you have a, a um, an inequality that is like this it means that x is between minus 1 and 3 over 2 okay